C1 is the y-intercept of first line and C2 is the y-intercept of second line. For what is the condition for two lines to be parallel? If two lines are parallel, then their slopes are equal. So consider two lines. See, if the line is in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0, slope is minus a by b. What is the distance of point from line? Modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square. Minus 3 by minus 4 becomes 3 by 4. Welcome to the session dear students. In my last class we have done problems as well as we have learnt the distance of point from a line. I have derived an expression for distance of a point from line. They will give a point and they will give a line. So we need to format a formula and we have derived the formula for distance of point from the line. In today's class we will see problems on distance of point from a line and also some more derivations, concepts of parallel lines. So now, problems and distance of point from line. The first problem, find the distance of 3 comma minus 2, all of you know 3 comma minus 2 is a point, from the line 3x minus 4y plus 10 equal to 0. They gave a point, they gave a line, they wanted to find the distance of point from a line. So now, let us recollect what is distance of point from a line. If I give you a point, so point they give 3 comma minus 2, we call point as what x1, y1, this is a point and there is a line, this is a line, always we will write the line in general form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is the line and here also they give a line 3x minus 4y plus 10 equal to 0, 3x minus 4y plus 10 equal to 0 is the line. Now you know x1, y1, you know a, b, c. Now we need to find distance of point from line. So what is the formula for distance of point from line? D is equal to modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square. This is a formula for distance of point from line. What is the distance of point from line? Modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square. Now coming to this a, see by method of comparison a is what 3? quotient of x a is 3 and b b is what quotient of y that is minus 4 and c is constant c is 10 so now we got a b c substitute in the formula so first you become thorough with the formula what is the formula modulus of a x1 plus b y1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square why we put modulus because you know distance cannot be negative x1 y1 is a point and a b c are the quotients of x y X, a, B are quotients of X, Y and C is the constant in the line. So line always rearrange in the general form. General form of line is what? A, X plus B, Y plus C equal to 0. Now substitute in the formula. A, what is A? 3. X1, what is X1? Into 3 plus B, what is B? Minus 4. What is Y1? Minus 2 plus C. What is C? Plus 10 in the modulus. Divide by root of A square plus B square. Root of A is what? 3 square plus b square minus 4 the whole square. Simplify this further. So 3 3 is a 9 plus minus and minus plus 4 2 is a 8 plus 10 divided by root of 9 plus 4 so minus the whole square is plus 4 4 is a 16 modulus. So that is finally you will get d is equal to 18 plus 9 27 divided by root 25 modulus of 27 modulus of positive is positive 27 divided by 5 so d is 27 by 5 units this is the distance i hope all of you understood how to find distance of point from line what are the point they'll give call it as x1 y1 whatever the line they'll give call it as ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and x quotient is a, y quotient is b and constant is c. Substitute in the formula. What is the formula? Modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square. Substitute and get the value. If you get negative, take modulus. Modulus of negative becomes positive because all of you know distance cannot be negative. So just this is a sample problem wherein you will become thorough with the formula of distance of point from line. What is the distance of point from line? d is equal to Modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square. Now we will go with important derivation. So now let me teach you 
a formula or let me derive a formula for distance between parallel lines. So in today's class, I will be deriving distance between parallel lines. All of you know, two lines are parallel means their slopes are equal. So that's why, let us take two lines. One is y is equal to mx plus c1 here. Second line, y is equal to mx plus c2. Both are having same slopes if you observe. Slope of first line is m, slope of second line is m, therefore they are parallel. What is the condition for two lines to be parallel? If two lines are parallel, then their slopes are equal. So consider two lines. What is the first line? y is equal to mx plus c1. What is the second line? y is equal to mx plus c2. In both the lines, you can see quotient of x is same. Means both the lines are what? Parallel. So I have taken two lines which are parallel. Now I need to find distance between them. I will draw a perpendicular from one line to other line. So whose distance is d? Now I need to find d. Here you can observe point on the first line. So I will find the line is cutting x intercept. A line is cutting x axis. Put y equal to 0. In the place of y if you put 0 you will get this. And now you can use distance of point from line. So now d. What is distance of point from line? Modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square. Now we have taken a line from the, uh, we have taken two lines. So line y is equal to mx plus c1 cuts x axis at point and I call that point as PPA at point A in the diagram the point A that is minus c1 by m comma 0. All of you know how to point, find point on x axis. See first line they gave y is equal to mx plus c1. In this, in the place of y put 0 because whenever a line cuts x axis on the x axis, y value is 0. So put y value 0, you will get mx1 plus c, rearrange. So you will get mx1 is equal to minus c or x1 is minus c by m. So you got the value of x1. x1 that is uh, value of what? x coordinate. That is how we will get the point. And this is not required. Directly you can take line cuts x axis at this point. You got a point. And you got a line. What is the line? The second line. Second line. So A is a point. A is a point that is uh, minus C1 comma M. C1 by M comma 0. And uh, other line we have. From here to here we want to find distance. So the other line is what? Y is equal to Mx plus C2. So now I need to find distance of the point from this line. If you want to find distance of the point from this line, we can use distance of point from line formula. That's what we will go ahead now. I hope all of you understood this. So now we will derive it. So in the diagram I choose only the one point, the point called A and this is minus C1 by M comma 0. This is a point I call it as X1, Y1 and we have another line that is Y is equal to Mx plus C2. Now this is a distance, this is a distance D and now I need to find D. In order to find D, I can use the formula distance of point from line. What is distance of point from line? Modulus of AX1 plus BY1 plus C divided by root of A square plus B square. All of you know this. Observe X1, Y1 is directly available. X1 is minus C1 by M and Y1 is 0. But I need ABC. In order to find ABC, in order to find ABC, write the line in general form. So the line, so line Y is equal to MX plus C2 transfer y to RHS. So 0 is equal to mx minus y plus c2 or can I say that implies that implies can I write it as mx minus y plus c2 equal to 0. Now I wrote a line. Now line 9 is in general form. It is in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Now find the value of abc. What is a? m what is B? Minus 1. What is C? C2. Now you got A, B, C. Substitute and you have X1, Y1. This is a point. And substitute in the formula. What is the formula? Distance of point from line D. Substitute D is equal to modulus of A, X1. What is A? M. What is X1? So A is M into X1 is what? Minus C1 by M plus B. What is B? Minus 1 into Y1. What is Y1? 0 plus C. What is C? C2 modulus divided by root of a square plus b square. 
what is a square m square plus what is b square minus 1 the whole square so just substitute the values all of you know distance of point from line in the distance of point from line a value is quotient of x that is m b value is quotient of y in the line that is minus 1 c means c2 I substituted x1 y1 is x1 is minus c1 by m and y1 is 0 substituted and find the value can I cancel m and m here so I am left out with modulus of minus c1 1 into 0 is 0 plus c2 divided by root of m square plus minus 1 the whole square is 1 so you got d I will rearrange this is negative and then positive I will rearrange I will make it positive and negative so d is modulus of c2 minus c1 divided by root of m square plus 1 this is the distance now you got distance between parallel lines what is distance between parallel lines modulus of c2 minus c1 divided by root of m square plus 1 so memorize this formula this is important formula which will make use to solve the problems what is distance between two parallel lines modulus of c2 minus c1 by root of m square plus 1 what is m slope of the line c1 and c2 are what intercepts of the line c1 is the y intercept of first line and c2 is the y intercept of second line for both the lines m will be same because both are parallel if two lines are parallel then their slopes are equal now so distance between parallel lines you know what is the distance between parallel lines d is equal to modulus of c2 minus c1 divided by root of m square plus 1 my dear students this is formula 1 if lines are lines are in the form in the form y is equal to mx plus c1 and y is equal to mx plus c2 means if the lines are in slope intercept form use this you can use this formula when the lines are in slope intercept form slope intercept form means they are in the form y is equal to mx plus c if they are not in if, there are not, if this is a formula when the lines are in what slope intercept form slope intercept form use this if the lines are not in slope intercept form if the lines are not in slope intercept form the second case is the second case is if the lines are in general form if the lines are in what general form if the lines are if the lines are in general form lines are in general form means what the first line is ax plus by plus c1 equal to 0 and second line is ax plus b2 plus by plus c2 equal to 0 please observe please observe both the lines are having x and y quotient same if x and y quotients are same then slope will be same if slopes are same they are parallel so then the formula is d is equal to same modulus of c1 minus c2 or c2 minus c1 divided by root of this part of m square plus 1 directly you can take a square plus b square that is the other formula there is one more formula that you can make use so i gave two set of formulae the first formula is we we derived second formula when the lines are in what general form lines are in general form find slope minus a by b substitute it will be same but in spite of finding slope taking lcm converting directly you can use it if the lines are in general form that is if the lines are in ax plus by plus c form you can convert them into slope intercept form and use this or directly you can use this formula what is that modulus of c1 minus c2 divided by root of a square plus b square both are valid formula means using this getting m substitute it here it will become like this that is the meaning so i am asking you to remember both the formulae what is the first formula modulus of c1 minus c2 divided by root of m square plus 1 when to use this formula if the line is in slope intercept form what is the second formula d is equal to modulus of c1 minus c2 divided by root of a square plus b square when to use this when the lines are in general form if they are in general form the other method is convert them to slope intercept form reduce the given to the slope intercept and use the above or directly use this this is better and faster my dear students by now three different formulae for distances you have learned one is distance of point from line that is how today's class started what is the distance of point from line if i give a point and line how to find distance modulus d is equal to modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square where x1 y1 is a point and a b are the quotients of x y and c is the constant in the line distance of point from line now i give distance between two parallel lines so two forms i gave any form you can use depending on the problem now we'll go ahead with the problems 
find the distance between parallel lines. So I give 3x minus 4y minus 26 equal to 0. 3x minus 4y plus 10 equal to 0. I give two lines and they want to find distance between them. First, are they parallel? Yes, they are parallel. Why? Because slopes are same, minus a by b. See, if the line is in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0, slope is minus a by b. Minus 3 by minus 4 becomes 3 by 4. Iduku slope 3 by 4 agatha. Yeraduku slope same barata, they are parallel. And they have also mentioned they are parallel. So now they want distance. See, observe, lines are in general form. Lines are in what form? General form. So, a is quotient of x, that is 3. b is quotient of y, that is minus 4. For both the lines, a and b are same. And c1 means constant of first line. What is constant of first line? Minus 26. c2 means constant of second line. What is constant of second line? Positive 10. So now you got a, b, c. Now write the formula. What is the formula? d is equal to modulus of c1 minus c2 divided by root of m square plus 1. That is d is equal to modulus of c1 minus c2 minus 26 minus 10 divided by root of m square plus 1. That is 3 square. Now lines are in general form. Use the formula general form. Directly use the formula of general form. What is general form? Root of a square plus b square. So what is a square? 3 square plus b square. b square is what? Minus 4 the whole square. If the lines are in general form, directly use modulus of c1 minus c2 divided by root of a square plus b square. In the place of a, we have 3. In the place of b, minus 4. Substitute it. So d is equal to minus 36 numerator modulus divided by root of 3 square is 9 minus the whole square is plus 16 under the root positive 36 by root 25 that is 36 by 5 this is the distance between parallel lines and other method convert the line to slope into form so or I am using alternate method we can use the first formula but you have to convert the line to slope intercept form reduce it so can I rewrite it as rearrange 3x minus 26 is equal to 4y or y is equal to 3 by 4x minus 26 by 4 then y is equal to what 3 by 4x minus it is divisible so to 2 the 2 1s are 2 3s are 13 by 2. This is first line. Second line also you convert 3x plus 10 is equal to minus 4y you transfer it to become 4y or y is equal to what 3 by 4x plus 10 by 4 or y is equal to 3 by 4x plus 5 by 2. Now from both the lines m is same. What is m? 3 by 4 they have same slope c1 is minus 13 by 2 c2 is 5 by 2 use the formula what is the formula modulus of c1 minus c2 divided by root of m square plus 1 use the formula that is d is equal to modulus of c1 minus c2 divided by root of m square plus 1 you have to get the same answer that is 36 by 5 that will be c1 minus c2 means minus 13 by 2 minus 5 modulus divided by root of m square m square means what 3 by 4 the whole square plus 1 under root see here you can see the length of the problem you have to take uh, simplification becomes more and reduction so that's why i am asking you to use this okay fine further we'll continue so take lcm if i take lcm numerator 2 is the lcm uh, minus 10 minus 13 it will become minus 23 minus 23 divided by a square plus b square denominator 3 square is 9 9 by 16 plus 1 9 by 16 9 by 16 plus 16 9 plus 16 by 9 if it after taking lcm under root rearrange this modulus makes it positive 23 by 2 into root 9 becomes 3 3 goes to numerator uh, 16 sorry 16 16 goes to numerator divided by 25 it will become 5 2 ones are 2 eights are further you simplify that you will get the required value that is hmm, this is small 2 5 is a 10 2 
on simplifying this you will get 30 as so a final answer has to be what 36 by 5 so that is let me erase this part and I'll continue and solve that same part here and final answer you should get same that is 36 by 5 only your answer should not change so we'll see what happens now so I'm using the other formula what is the formula so spaciously will apply here that is d is equal to modulus of c1 minus c2 c1 is what minus 13 by 2 minus c2 is what 5 by 2 so whether that 5 okay 5 yeah 5 by 2 5 by 2 so i'm using the formula what is the formula i'm using d is equal to d is equal to modulus of c1 minus c2 divided by root of m square plus 1 this is other format that's why i reduced the both the line in the form y is equal to mx plus c divided by root of m square plus 1 m is 3 by 4 the whole square plus 1 so numerator becomes minus 18 divided by 2 modulus divided by root of 9 by 16 plus 1 under root so numerator becomes two ones are two nines uh. so modulus of minus 9 is 9 divided by uh, 9 plus 16 by 16 under root so further d is equal to 9 divided by 5 uh, divided by 4 so that is 9 into 4 divided by 5 9 4 is a 36 by 5 modulus means what if it is negative make it positive modulus of uh, minus 9 you know that will become modulus of minus 9 is what 9 9 by so 36 by 5 in the first format also we got this but you can see second format is lengthy and you have to take lcm simplify so much first we have to convert so anything is better final answer is same but my suggestion go for first method if the problem is in general form let us conclude let us conclude so now lines was given in general form so that's why in the first case in the first case i use this formula d is modulus of c1 minus c2 divided by root of a square plus b square and i got the answer directly that is 36 by 5 now later later i converted them to y is equal to mx plus c form i converted them to slope intercept form i converted them to what slope intercept form that is y is equal to mx plus c form both the lines then i use the formula modulus of c1 minus c2 divided by root of m square plus 1 we will get same answer that is d is what 36 by 5 any method is fine but first method makes the process simpler because you no need to reduce and waste your time but remember both if they give in slope intercept form this is suitable and if they give general form this is suitable now next question they want you to find the distance between parallel lines first one 2x plus 5y equal to 11 second one 4x plus 10y minus 3 equal to 11 see whether they are parallel so how to check first find slope of this slope formula you know minus a by b that is minus 2 by 5 for second one you find slope slope is what minus a by b minus 4 by 10 that is minus 2 by 5 you divide so both are having same slopes therefore they are parallel therefore they are parallel that is the conclusion if they are parallel the best method is make the quotient same make the quotient same so here you can see 4x and 10y here it is 2x and 5y multiply the first line by 2 multiply you can divide second line by 2 better is what multiply y line 1 by 2 if you do that this will become 2 into 2 4x plus 2 into 5 10y is equal to 2 into 11 22 or rearrange bring it to LHS so 4x plus 10y minus 22 equal to 0 is the first line and second line take as it is what is the second line 4x plus 10y minus 3 equal to 0 is the second line observe this carefully observe this carefully both the lines are having a b values same so both are having slopes same so now directly go for what distance between parallel lines what is the distance between parallel lines d is equal to modulus of c1 minus c2 divided by root of a square plus b square this is suitable because lines are in general form what is a so in both the lines a will be same that is 4 quotient of x b will be same that is 10 but for first line c1 is minus 22 for second line c2 is minus 3 substitute them 
minus 22 minus of minus 3 modulus divided by root of 4 square plus 10 square so it will become minus 22 plus 3 modulus divided by 16 plus 100 under root that is minus 22 plus 3 becomes minus 19 divided by root 116 modulus that is d is what 19 divided by root 116 and check whether it is a multiple of perfect square it is divisible by 4 and expand it and rewrite this 116 is divisible by what perfect square like 4 4 uh, 2 is 8 36 4 9 is a so 4 9 is a 36 sir can I write this as 4 into 29 that is 2 root 29 this is D this is distance between the parallel lines in this problem quotients are not same we should make quotient same by finding a common multiple so I multiplied the first equation by 2 and a b became same then I use the formula so now these are the basics so today we learned distance of point from line application that is we also found out distance between parallel lines and we have done basic problems in this in my next session we will go ahead with reducing the given problem to one form to other form and distance formulae all these things. So please learn all these things become thorough and attend my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.